Hello YouTube, this is Driver, and I'm going to be doing an initial video on my brand new Tipman Arms M4 Micro Elite Pistol. Um, now, I watched uh, 22 Plinksters review on this uh, beautiful little thing, and I just had to get one for myself. Um, you see, I had added a few things that fit my customizations. I jungle tape the uh, light on there um, let's see t -t -t covering my serial number to that there um, added a one point sling which works great for me this is a uh, fox tactical right there there we go and I have purchased three additional magazines but the first magazine I have on the firearm is a jungle taped dual mag uh, coupler that's the uh, term for it works yeah. and there is a snap cap let's just keep that safety on that'll be safe and sorry but both of these are 25, 25 round magazines lock in positively fit in just fine and for easy reload so this is kept in my safe, pretty much just as is. Um, some usually with the sights down, and if you can see here, I took some of uh, some white nail polish, and I made some three dot sights here, one for the, uh, the, t the top and one and two down here, so that lines up perfectly. I mean, as perfectly as that can be, but. Just for low profile sites, I'm most likely going to add a red dot on here. Um, but this started off as just a, um, a range toy. Like I really thought this would be great for the range. Um, I typically only shoot, sorry, let me just put that down. I typically only shoot um, CCI Minimag 36 grain hollow points out of all my 22s. Might as well stick with the uh, ammunition that works best. I think out of a box of 300, I typically, typically have maybe two or three malfunctions, and that's only failures to fire. And that's like light primer strikes. Um, with my double single action 22s, all it usually takes is a second strike, but this being a bolt, um, I've fired, um, I'd say about 400 rounds out of this thing. And at first, the very first mag there that's labeled number one, um, that one came straight from the factory. Um, I brought three additional magazines. Um, the first magazine, I've, I had, I think, five failures to feed. And I think that problem was mainly because the magazine itself, the springs were stiff, it was dry, and I probably should have lubed it up or greased it up before I took it to the range. But the first mag I had four failures to uh, four failures to feed, and every I'd say about four or five magazines after that I don't remember exactly, but four or five magazines after that it was a hundred percent. The last magazine, so I think out of six magazines, um, first magazine I had four failures to feed. The additional um, four magazines ran 100%. The last magazine halfway through, I had um, one one more failure to feed. Um, and that was about it. The second time I took it to the range, this ran 100% out of two 300 rounds that I put through it. And that was after I had greased and oiled the uh, the magazine. So after ordering the other magazines, I did exactly the same. Took them apart, cleaned them out, greased them up, oiled the, uh, the uh, steel lips right here, and they all ran 100%. Now, when it comes to reliability, everything I've heard about this rifle itself, I think this is definitely the best. Like I've shot a lot of 22s, and you know I have a Ruger 1022. Um, I shot the uh, Smith and Wesson uh, M422, and I think this is top of the line. If you can get your hands on this, especially with all the craziness going on right now, a dedicated even shit hit the fan or just a closet M uh, 22 rifle this would be your best bet this would be incredible for you um, thank you for watching have a good one stay safe take care